Hi guys, I hope you are all doing well. Let's see today's question. So today's question is from the topic of functions. We have been given that X is a set with exactly five elements. Y is a set with seven elements. So number of elements in both the sets is known to us. It further says that when you find one to one functions from X to Y, let that be alpha. So alpha is nothing but one to one functions from X to Y. And beta is number of on to functions from y to x, right? So these are the two ideas given to us that alpha is number of one to one functions from x to y and beta is number of on to functions from y to x. We have to find the value of one by five factorial into beta minus alpha, right? Let's do this. So first of all, starting with functions that is one to one functions and then we'll discuss on to functions. So we know number of elements in set X is five. So let's say this is your X set with five elements, one to five. And this is your Y set with seven elements. Now, when I say one to one functions means every element of X, that is one element of X is correlated or it is intersected with one element of Y, right? So one element of X can only intersect with one element of Y. So if there are five elements in X, I will only have to select five elements in Y. So number of one to one functions that I can map from X to Y. So to get that, first of all, I will have to select any five of the elements out of seven. So out of seven, I will select five. And when we select, we use combinations, right? So seven C five and those five elements which are selected that are to be mapped with five elements of X. So when I have to map them, basically I can arrange these five elements which are selected out of seven in five factorial ways because order again becomes important. So basically number of one to one functions that are to be mapped from X to Y are nothing but seven C five, that is seven factorial, five factorial, two factorial into five factorial. So this five factorial gets cancels seven factorial upon two factorial, right? So these are the number of one to one functions that I can map from X to Y. So it can be for an example like this, that every element of X has to be mapped with one element of Y. So this is one example where I'm mapping first five elements of X with first five elements of Y and so on we get number of one to one functions that I can map from X to Y as seven factorial upon right let's move further now let's try to find out number of on to functions from y to x so if i want to find out on to functions from y to x we know y has seven elements and x has five elements so when I have onto functions from y to x, what I know is I keep x as number of elements in x, that is m, that is five, and number of elements in y, that is n, that is seven. And if n is greater than m, that is seven is greater than five, then only I can define number of onto functions. If that n becomes lesser than m, we cannot have onto functions. So first of all, let's define onto functions. Onto functions means those many number of functions where I can map all the elements of Y with five elements of X. So basically there can be one or more than one element mapped to the same element of X. For example, I can map one and two to one, three to two, four to three, five to four. I can map six to seven, six and seven to five. So basically there can be one or more than one element of Y map to a single element of X, right? So basically N should be greater than M. And since we have got N greater than M here, we can say that we can form number of onto functions and the formula that is used here to find the total number of onto functions. Let's find out. So total number of onto functions that I can form is total functions that I can form first of all. 
So total functions means for every m elements, so five elements, I can have all the seven attached. So five for each of them. So five raised to seven becomes the total number of functions minus I will subtract the number of functions which are not on to. Right, so functions which are not on to. And that is given by the formula mc1, m minus one raised to n plus mc2, m minus two raised to n minus mc3, m minus three raised to n. This goes on and on and on and on till mc m minus one, one raised to n, right? So this is the entire idea to find the total number of onto functions. So now if I find and use this formula, it becomes five raised to seven, that is m raised to n minus mc1, m we know it as five, so five c1, five minus one, so four raised to n, that is seven, mc2, so five c2, five minus two, three raised to seven, minus five c3, m minus three, so five minus three, two raised to seven, plus five c4, one raised to seven, right? So this is the entire idea to find the total number of onto functions. You should stop at one raised to n. After that, if I solve this further, I get five raised to seven, minus five c1 is five, four raised to seven, five c2, that is 10, three raised to seven, again, 10, two raised to seven, plus, 5c4 is again 5, 1 raised to 7, that is 1. I can take out 5 common from all of these terms. What I'm left with is 5 raised to 6. Here I'm left with 4 raised to 7. Here I'm left with 2 into 3 raised to 7. Here I'm left with 2 into 2 raised to 7. And nothing is left, so 1. Right? So now let's try to solve this further. This gives me 5. Now if I see... 5 raised to 6 is present. We know 5 cubed is 125. So I can write 5 raised to 6 as 5 cubes square. So 125 square. So if you use the shortcut to find the square of 125, we know a square ending with 5 will always have the 2 end position as 25. And since it is same number 12, I can multiply 12 with its consecutive number that is 13. So 12 into 13, that will form 126. So I get 5 raised to 6 as 1, 5, 6, 2, 5. Further. 4 raised to 7 I want to find. So 4 raised to 7 if you see that is 4 cube or I can write 4 raised to 17, uh, 4 raised to 7. So 4 cube is 64. Further I know 4 raised to 7 I can also write it as 2 raised to 14. So if you know 2 raised to 10 is 1024. 2 raised to 11 is 2048, 2 raised to 12 is 4096, 2 raised to 13 if I find out, it becomes 96 doubles is 192 and 8 and further if I want to find 2 raised to 14 I'll get it as 16 and 192 is double is 384. So that is 16, 384, that is the value of 4 raised to 7. So I get that as well. So it becomes 16,384. Plus 2 into 3 raised to 7. So we know 3 raised to 7. I can split it as 3 raised to 6 into 3. So 3 raised to 6 I can split as 9 cube. Because 3 square and cube. So 9 cube is 729 into 3. So if I just find the multiplication. 9 3 is a 27. 3 2 is a 6 8. And 3 7 is a 21. So 2 1 8 7 into double of that. So that becomes... If I take the double, it becomes 7, 2, so 14, 1 carry, 17, 1 carry, 3, 2, 2, so 4. So that is plus, again minus, 2 into 2 raised to 7, so basically that's 2 raised to 8. You know, 2 raised to 10 is 1, 0, 2, 4, so 2 raised to 9 is 5, 1, 2, and 2 raised to 8, if I again divide, it becomes 256. So that is 256 plus 1. If I find out what I get here is, so let's understand 5 multiplied by 15625 plus 4374 plus 1. So 5 plus 4, 9, 9 plus 1, 10, 
again 10 again 10 again 10 so basically that's 20000 so 20000 minus this if i calculate 16384 plus 256 so that is again 10 14 okay. So six and six one six six four zero. So if I find out, I get five into twenty thousand minus sixteen thousand six forty. That is three thousand three hundred and six. So that many number of onto functions are there from y to x. Now if I just use the idea that is asked to us, we need to find the value of that. So one upon five factorial into beta minus alpha. So 1 upon 5 factorial beta, that was known 5 into double 360 on two functions. Alpha was 7 factorial upon 2 factorial. If I further solve it, what I get here is this becomes 5 into 3360 upon 5 into 4 into 3 into 2 into 1 because 5 factorial. This becomes 7 into 6 into 5 factorial, 2 factorial and 5 factorial. 5 factorial gets cancelled. 2 factorial, I can write it as 2 into 1, that is 2 only. 2 1s are 2 3s are, this becomes 21. This, if I solve further, gets cancelled. So that, if I cancel 3s, so 3 1 1 2 0. If I cancel it with 4, 4 2s are 8, 32, so 4 8s are, and further it cancels 140. So 140 minus 21, that is 190. So total. Value of this 5 factorial divided with the product of beta minus alpha comes out to become 119 total base, right? So, this are the total number of functions I have here that was asked to us and the option which matches here with the question is B. So, the correct answer for the question asked here is B. I hope you have understood how to solve this type of questions where we need to find the total number of one to one functions and total number of on to functions with this formula. And then once you get total number of one to one functions and on to functions, you just have to put those values in the idea and find the value. Correct. So I'll meet you again tomorrow with the next question. Till then. You can like, share and subscribe if you're finding this helpful. Thank you.